Hello everyone, Sigmulator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect, Mass Effect Andromeda. I've got some skill points to use. Let's see. Yeah, let's increase that. Nine points left. Combat fitness. Yeah, let's put you up to three. Uh, incinerate. Ooh, that would be useful. Yeah, let's spend a point on that. Sign powers. Incinerate will go there. Nice. Uh, let's see, she's got 10 points. Can I not? Auto. Let's just go through them all until there. All the points are used. Oh, that needs two points. Alright, let's... You sorted. Nope. Right, there we go. Right. Done as much as I can, I think, in here. Think of Addison on the Nexus. <coughs> Inspect available strike team missions. Right. So I've still got plenty to do. Why is the Nomad down there when I'm up here? There we go. Right, let's see what's going on around here. Interact for any of these? No. Someone to talk to there. Hello, Yale. How are you doing? I'm sorry I came to this, Pathfinder. What? Pathfinder. Why are you sorry it came to this? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Right. Maybe something we'll pick up later. You right there, fella?
Hey, Connor, heard about the new position. Prodomo's just gained one hell of a businesswoman. They're lucky to have you. If we ever find ourselves on the next at the same time, I'm buying you a drink to celebrate. Vetra. And Ryder, I know you're going to get nosy and read this. Hi. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Jacob. Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, Research and Development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. Sounds useful. Good thinking, Mitney. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scrounge safely, Pathfinder. Hey, okay, cool. I'll have an extra mission. Hello, Pathfinder. Hello. Hello, Kim Connor. Supplies, trade, procurement. Anything you need, I can provide. Though I hear you've got Vetra Nix keeping you well stocked. You know Vetra? I worked with her on the Nexus in those days of chaos. But I need ground under my feet, and soon hopefully trade will flourish on EOS. Is EOS trading with any new partners? Right now? Just the Nexus, but I have contracts with Wildcat salvages and independent miners. There will be more. Does the outpost have everything it needs? The Nexus furnished us with the basics, but that isn't enough for a home. Providing the rest is my responsibility. The labs can't work without good logistics. They'll have it. You said you know Vetra. What's she really like? Ah, Vetra. You're lucky to have her. Few weathered the mutiny on the Nexus as gracefully. The mutineers tried to convince her to join them. She refused, yet many of them are still her contacts and allies. If Vetra Nix has advice for you, I'd listen. No so how did you end up here, Connor? Me? You're the Grand Explorer. I fill out requisition forms. Really? Everyone here has some kind of story. I left mine back home. Or, oh, uh, the still, ask me another time. Alright, touchy subject. See you later. Be well, come back again. I'm sure I will. Hello everyone. All right, nothing else in here. Good. Big shiny thing over there. It's probably worth checking out. Hello. What we got here? Nothing there. Formal request for Darkit uh, Tiervan. Making the request again, Bradley. I know it's not your fault. I know she's supposed to be, be second wave, but I want a trail so that when all this comes down in a few years, we can get proper uh, outrage about how long it took to reunite families, especially ones hurt during the Site 1 2 mess. You know, broken promises is a thing, right? Requesting. This deployment of uh, Darkit Tiervan, W84 Crispin, Exo Specialist. Reason, she's an asset that will help viability. She's also my daughter. Alright. Oh, a merchant. Hello. Hello.
Oh, I sold all my salvage. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Oh, well, that's the thing we've done. All right, let's check upstairs. Hey, everyone. I keep wondering what our scientists will cook up for eels. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. Really hope all those scientists will be safe out here. I'm sure they will. Hi. Hello. You haven't got a fuel cell, have you? The quartermaster says there's plenty, but she would. Wait. Oh, shit. You're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Fox, Chief Engineer for Padromos. Anything you need, ask away. What do you think about your new home? First impressions? We've got water, clear skies for solar power, plants to farm. The remnants are a wild card, but Bradley says you have them covered. It'll take work, no question, but I think EOS is really going to be something. What do you do here? My team gets things going. Water, power, communications, everything a civilization needs. Well, not laws or a constitution, but it's easier to concentrate on those when you got a flushing toilet. What brought you all the way to Andromeda? There's a colony back home you've never heard of. Viridus. It failed. Hard. I grew up there watching things fall apart. When I left, I got into infrastructure, civil engineering. Boring stuff, unless you've ever lived without it. I wanted to do Viridus right, I guess. And the initiative was my best chance. What are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust me. Bye, Fox. Have a good one. Right. <clears throat> How's it there? I hear Bradley has things up and running smoothly. I knew you guys could do it. Tell me about uh, EOS. It's boring here, so I have to live vicariously through you. Oh, you remember that girl I told you about, the Asari? We're going out this weekend. I can't believe she said yes. Wish me luck. Now it's your turn, buddy. Fair enough. All right. We checked that one over there, didn't we? I believe we did. Whoops. Oh no, it was that one. Anything to say to you two? Hello! I'll collect this. Collect all the shiny rocks. God. Hello. Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Major Domo Evan Bell Scott. I have headaches so you don't have to. Rather, so Bradley doesn't have to. I've also coordinated with your cat expert. He wanted me to remind you to find him. I didn't assign a cat expert to Prodromos. Then he's a hell of a self-motivator. Here's the nav anyway. Precision is important. Right. How did you come to the initiative? Like many, I was lost and looking for a purpose. That sounds loftier than it felt at the time. I was an insufferable ass. The training for the trip was probably enough to cure me of it. But I always took things too far. Didn't know how to stop alienating people until I was the alien. <laughs> See? Still.
and insufferable. Sounds like you left some interesting circumstances. I miss the family, and maybe they miss me. But that doesn't mean I'd go back. I mean, we can't, but still. I like where I came from. It's a great place to be from. Know what I mean? I know exactly how you feel. Couldn't wait to be from somewhere. Like a bullet leaves a gun. Sometimes you just gotta go. Where'd you launch out of? The pale blue dot. Terra Prime. Big old boring Earth. I miss... I miss that wet dog smell after the first snow melts. I don't know why. What about you? Miss anything? I miss the time on the couch before media loads. Make your choice, and as a B-minus rom-com bounces between satellites, the size of the planet decides how long you wait in the dark. Your popcorn sounds nice, Pathfinder. <laughs> Another time. Of course. Oh, terminal. Uh, to Tan from Bradley. Tan, appreciate the personal interest, but my people are getting twitchy with all the messages you're sending them. I'd like their minds on the job, not being under a microscope. Anderson's the one to one I call. I get it. Site 1 and 2 are still raw for us too, but Prodromos isn't the same. No better way to prove that than let us do our jobs. Give them space and I'll give you the footage you need to make it play well back on the Nexus. Agreed? Bradley, everyone, initial setup went by the books and we're operational in record time. Be proud, I am. Now that the first deployment wave is in, I'm giving the all clear to break into the good stuff. We've got a new Connolly to toast and some lost friends to say goodbye to. Lights go down and drinks raise up at twenty eight at twenty hundred hours. Bradley. Good stuff. Alright, what's in here? Hello there. Ah, Pathfinder. I hear you're to thank for a physics-defying atmosphere processor. That's me. I'm Ryder. Hayley Abrams, Director of Scientific Research on EOS, and Ryder of papers that start what the hell weather. But new galaxy, new world, and a really new start. Gotta keep up. How can I help you? What kind of research are you working on? Your basic first in scientific work, soil, water, atmospherics, plus studying remnant tech, because now I need to understand that to survive here. Yep. Activating that vault changed the planet. Anything to worry about? Considering it's world-altering technology we've never encountered before, I hope not. But the storms show no signs of returning, and I know who to contact for remnant tech support. I'll take it. <laughs> what do you make of Lieutenant Brad? <clears throat> Determined as hell, and he has incredible faith in us to get this done. Bradley would carry this outpost on his back if he had to, and we'll make sure he never has to. I've got to go. Keep up the good work. I will do my best. Hello. Uh, Pathfinder, mind giving me your opinion on this? I'm planning classes for our first school, when we have one. Some say we shouldn't teach Milky Way history. All irrelevant now, apparently. <laughs> we were all shaped by that history. Our children deserve to know how and why. Agreed. Maybe you'll change a few minds. Thanks for stopping. History is important, no matter where you're from or where you've moved to. Uh... Oh, that is a lot. All right. Radders! You all right there, mate? What's this? Ooh, me oh, the memory trigger. Uh, Sam, what was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. 
Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Cheers, Sam. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Let's not drive people too hard. Rough enough getting this far. Nothing you see here came from cracking a whip. Everyone is just ready. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions, Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like site one and two. The first two outposts didn't have a chance. It was clear to everyone on the ground. I saw the brief. I'm making sure every one of our people is eyes wide. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. I haven't reached the end of that trail, but not everyone died outright. Right. They tell me there were staggered evacs. If any want to try again, they're welcome. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. I will do that. I will do just that, brothers. Right, he's basically telling me I have. I, there's not much left for me to do currently. I have to go away and come back later. But there's still some rooms up here I need to check. Hello everyone. Don't stop working on my account. Ah, haven't spoken to you. Oga said you might swing by. Ryder, yes? Dr. Ramirez. Run the clinic here on EOS. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Good to meet you. I'll guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? Why did you join the Andromeda Initiative? I served in the Alliance as a medic, but let's say I saw one Batarian slave raid too many. I knew August, Bradley, and when he signed on to the Initiative, suggested I consider it. This seemed like a better frontier. What's the latest from your clinic? Usual checkups for first thing colonists. Plus a few cases of dehydration and some blindness. Nothing serious. What do you think of Bradley? I've known him for years. He was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. So I restrict myself to uh, two or three times a day. What's it like living in our first successful outpost? It's early days, but promising. Everyone pitches in, everyone matters. We know we'll make this work. I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. Yes, I agree with that one. Uh, Mr. Josephs, I find it troubling that you think I could be swayed from my duty by an offer of credits. I understand Victor Carson is a friend of yours, but that's hardly an adequate reason to release him from cryostasis and send him to Prodromus. Beyond that, from what I hear, you two are a disaster waiting to happen. I know all about the prank you and Mr. Carson pulled on Everett before the journey to Helios. Victor Carson will be released from stasis when I see fit and assigned to an outpost that best suits his skill set. And if I hear you've gone over my head and spoken to Anson about this, you'll have me to answer to. Oh dear. Conditions, acute insomnia, claustrophobia. Multiple leg fractures. Oh dear. We've had accidents already. Hardly surprising though, I don't suppose colonising a new planet is going to be risk free.
All right, what's over here? Hello. All right. Okay, I think we've. Uh, I think we're good here. What else can I do around here? Something over there to do. New mission. Objective. I've got some objectives over here still. Can I fast travel? I can fast travel. That is good to know. Viability 74%. Excellent. Research station and something over there. Okay, so what's over here then? Just remember that everything shipped. Okay. It's all looking good. Oh, this is the research station. Anything else in here? No, just that. Fair enough. Right, what's in here then? Please help. This is the only way I can get word out before someone gets killed. My work crew, they keep talking about the remnant tech. They think the initiative lie the initiative's lying about how dangerous it is, that a couple of uh, electrodes in the right place could get the remnant to work for them. They tried before and I helped out in Medbay when those remnant observers carved up uh, Bahati, but Jennings says he could live like ki we could live like kings if he had an army of remnant robots working and fighting for us. He's taken the whole work crew to help him this time. I have to go with him. I have to go with them, maybe I can talk Jennings out of it. But if I can't, someone should know why we didn't come back. Someone left a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. That's a recipe for trouble. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The data pad mentioned Medbay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them. All right then. Oh, hello. What are you? You're shiny, so I shall take you. Back to the med bay. I do like having that little jetpack. Yee! I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. Do I need to select it? Oh, can I not? Can I not access it yet? No. Okay. I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. Right. Okay.
Right, I still need to investigate the murders. Right, okay, so with that in mind... Oh, what's that one? Okay, who does? Let's fast travel over here and get some of the knock out some of these side missions. Be a memorial or monument when there's time. Hard lessons we can't forget. Recovery is a long term process. That it is. in here no Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Uh, here we go. We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Those things? Must be talking about the cat. Yeah. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mountain, watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first cat ambush on Site 1. The cat scouted them out. I was like it. Can't know what they're doing. Right. Gimme. <clears throat> My radiation shields are dead, but I finally made it to site one. Promise is a ghost town. Damn it, there's got to be something the storms and rat pack scavengers didn't take. Without the project, site two is done for. Our crews get torn apart faster than we could patch things up, and we hear that thing at night. That thing at night can't pretend it's the weather anymore. Wind doesn't roar like it's hungry. Update managed to pry enough components out of the project and patch up my shields. I'm heading home to site two if it's still there. There was something very wrong at the second outpost they made. More wrong than deadly radiation? Whatever it was, site two made a special project to handle it. Let's keep it in mind for later. All right. All right. I think it's probably best now we head back over here. Yeah, because we need to progress a bit and then we can come back and finish some of these planets off. So we'll head back to the Nexus. There we go. Depart. Ascent is go. All clear. Well, I should probably now be able to talk to our crew. 
Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. <laughs> okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Alright, so I've got this con thing. Alright, let's go and have a right chat with everyone. When you've got a minute, stop by the med bay. Sure. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. What the hell was that? I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one before the initiative. Some things stick, though, like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. There's a lot of loss going around. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you. An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. I like the fact in this one they have active triggers for romance options so you don't accidentally romance somebody you don't want to. Maybe that's something they can implement in a Mass Effect trilogy remake. I will not stop pushing for that. I want it. Ryder? 
What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CEO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A huntress's work is never done. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. You were in the Alliance before you became a huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed to start over somewhere new together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. After four years with Asari commandos, you must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Even though I know there are romantic prompts, I'm not going to ask her about whether she has anyone special. Oh, strike teams. I should be able to do this now. It's all connected. Yes. Okay. Got it. And the strike team. That's done. Let's talk to these two because I haven't actually had a proper talk with either of them yet. We've spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic. But I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. Hey, Callie. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian Ark missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the Ark back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. 
That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. <laughs> I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Oh dear, Kello. You're good people. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean, a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. Really? At least with Shepard and Ashley, you get the option to say you're free to believe what you want. Ugh. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. It's good to have different voices on my team. I like that. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. I think I remember Suvi being quite awkward, isn't she? Like, socially. Uh, hello, Ryder. Forgive the intrusion. I have an issue that you and Sam should be able to readily solve. It may assist in my investigations into the Scourge. We can discuss it in person at the Nexus Labs. My regards to you and Sam, Dr. Aridana. All right. Cora, thanks for talking. Things feel better, though I, they don't feel fixed yet. Remember to take time for yourself too. Work's important, but so is time to grieve. Grief and fear cannot rule, rule you. Let them be your faithful servants. Protective of their mistress. Loss serves the hunters like fuel serves a fire. Yes, plants are coming along. Sam and I are learning about botany together. Interesting times. I uh, can still smell the remnant vault on my armour. A lot of weird shit down there. Like my hunter's manuals would say, the razor's edge between known and unknown teaches you what can be cut away. Now I think back, it reminded me a little bit of some of the temples on Thessia. Some huge spaces and running water. Same sense of a huge purpose. You can't really understand. Makes me wonder if we'll ever really know what their builders did there. Did there. Probably not. Hello Ryder, I'm pleased to report the Tempest is operating at peak efficiency, so now that you're in command, I thought I'd share a few secret shipboard hacks that the designers and I sneaked into her code. Just send uh, the code JCSB through your Omni tool to open the debug command menu. Uh, give all discipline lets you use the coffee dispenser in the gallery an unlimited number of times. Water temp override overrides the normal hot water uh, ration in the showers. Jump wash queue puts your clothing ahead of everyone else's in the uh, auto laundry cycle. Enjoy and don't share them around. Callo. Yeah, right, I'm so glad for our chat earlier. I've had to defend what I believe so often, and I have to admit I'm a little tired of it. Whenever I meet someone who feels the same or just understands, I really appreciate it, so thank you. Now you're welcome, Suvi. Better tell me what happened to your dad. I've lost a lot of people over the years. Figured you could use some cheering up, or at least a distraction. This usually helps me. Drac has attached 37 images of various rifles and shotguns. Two are duplicate images, many are low res or watermarked. <laughs> He's such a boomer. <coughs> Jesus. 
Alright, now given the amount of high impact cardio in your exercise routine, I recommend spending 5-10 to 10 minutes a day stretching to open your hips and uh, relieve tightness on the lower back. Uh, the poses I've listed below should do nicely, not to sound elitist, but while it's true humans invented yoga, the Azari perfected it. Alright, thanks Lexi. I hope it's okay that I'm keeping this data core in my room, i.e. the escape pod. I guess I just really like to ponder things before bed. Best ideas come to me while I'm half asleep. Also, I saw it first. Anyway, we know for sure it's got some sort of data in it. The trick is how to get at it. I'll keep you updated. Facial reconstruction. I don't have completed my analysis of the injuries you suffered on Habitat 7 during the fall. Well, both falls, including the facial damage incurred when your helmet shattered. Those hairline uh, subsurface fractures are mending nicely. If you want to monitor the healing process, there's a facial reconstruction suite installed in the Tempest Med Bay. Exploring harsh environments can take its toll after all. The suite can make any desired adjustments to your appearance quickly and safely. Cano claims the suite runs on uh, antiquated xenon. I think that's one of his little jokes. Okay. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice out of the way place where I can tinker and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to. I look forward, not back, writer. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <sighs> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Maybe you just needed more sleep? We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Alright. Don't want to talk to her too much because I think she will leave if you bother her too much. I might be misremembering that, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm in the armory. Good for you, Vetra. Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, this is the most important part of the ship. Whoa, don't tell me they put someone smart in charge for a change. I am at your command. Just want to see how things are going with the ship? I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. 
Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. We're exploring this cluster, eventually the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> In the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Excellent stuff. All right, Vetra, let's have a conflab. Uh, Vetra? I'll talk to someone. Oh. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. We need people with skills, and it sounds like you've got many. Welcome aboard. Yep, making deals to get the things you want, shooting at the things you don't. That's me. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later? Sure. All right. more people to chat with the wrong way but actually oh yeah I think Liam's in this one isn't he Pathfinder help me with something I know not exactly standard Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Right, right. What? Never mind. BS for the requisition. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I hoped my Lion's career would lead to adventure. Exploring, hunting dangers in the dark. Didn't happen. Couldn't. But here, everything's new. And I want to see it all. Oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. 
I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Good stuff. All right. Let's. Liam chatted to. Let's chat with Lexi. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? <laughs> Habitat 7 was a little more action packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. You know Sarah's the good one. I think you're both trouble. Hold still. Ow. Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. <laughs> I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. Anatomist? Physician? That's quite the resume. I'm also a licensed psychologist. 275 years has given me plenty of time to branch out. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan... Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. Thanks, Mum. Uh, did, so, sorry if I wonder if we got uh, we were taking turns and half the rations aren't unpacked yet. Uh, got you covered, Cali. There's soup in the gallery. Dextro and Levo for me. A fruit cocktail for Vetra, and to think we might have left port without you. Found a bug yesterday uh, near the bio lab. Nice one with a magnetized base. You left it stuck sideways to a bulkhead. Uh, that's mine. I just put it down for a second when my hands were full. Next time, maybe empty it first. <laughs> I finished the assignment paperwork for the Nexus. Had to fudge a few details, but you're both officially members of the Pathfinder team. Welcome. And Drac, I just wanted to check in publicly about what I said. Relax, half hurt. The best headbutt is always the one you don't see coming. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Drax. Drax. And don't, uh, don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Rushan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus superintendent. Thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Uh, I like the way you think, kid. Hmm. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tam. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tam's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, 
I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along and help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Right, good stuff. Not a very exciting episode overall, I know. But we've got a long journey ahead of us. So, there we go. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.